Lazarus Symposium 16. Uh, delighted today to be reintroducing one of the more popular faces and voices, and minds and hearts in our enlightened community. And we're discussing surviving chaos, navigating the tribulation, of course, with Dave Emery. Good to see you, Dave. Hi right, there. Uh, nice to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Now, those of you who are less enlightened than the rest of us and who are yet to know uh, who Dave Emery is, I'll just give you a quick overview. He's um, very quickly become one of the more popular voices on Lazarus and for good reason too, uh, through our symposia and um, publications. And he's uh, soon to be inducted uh, into the, as a fellow, into the New Earth University, which we're very excited about. Uh, but for our new viewers, I will just say uh, that uh, Dave is a prolific writer and teacher, um, also happens to be a former tennis pro, which is which is no small feat. Um, and he comes today with a timely and enlightening topic, uh, being as he is, uh, what I regard as um, loosely, I would I would refer to him as an archaeocosmologist, somebody who um, is really involved in the pure science of inquiry or craft of inquiry as it relates to genesis origins and uh, consciousness uh, the state of being in the now and how that is the singularity of so-called time past present and future so an archaeo cosmologist to my mind is, is somebody who's really um situated as dave is in uh, in the perfect moment the perfect geometry of now and able to see in a multiplicity of directions all at the same time. How very quantum of you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for as long as I keep taking the tablets, we're going to be fine. <laughs> right. So introduction to this, um, this section that we're doing here, surviving chaos, uh, which I spell K-H-A-O-S, navigating the great tribulation. The physicists um, Stephen Hawking and Thomas Hertog proposed that the universe began as a superposition of all possible outcomes of all events, including the Big Bang, and they're positing, as they did, that all events, experiences, and actions exist for a moment in what we call time before being superseded by something else that already exists, uh, which is the immanent. They also suggested that there may be a holographic principle at work involving uh, so-called string theory and gravitational waves through which an initially ordered and uniform universe may appear. These are the timelines or holographic paradigms that many now refer to. But we're going to take this concept a little bit further today in, in our conversation. So starting off, Dave, with uh, the beginning, they say we exist in a holographic universe, um, how exactly would that work? Well, a holographic universe would, um, would be created uh, as a result of an original, what you might call a superposition that um, Hertog and Hawking said, where there is an original reality. And out of that original reality is projected a series of, shall we say, um, sub-realities, which become universes, universes of experience, which are can, which contain their own created realities out of the original reality. There must be an original before any superposition or any universe or any Big Bang appears. There's got to be something that initiated it. So there has to be what I call the original reality. Um, a lot of people call this the unisci or the creative core concept out of which all that we experience is a holographic universe which is created so that we can experience a wide variety of contrast outside of the original reality but that we have an encryption of ourselves uniquely and forever ingrained in that original reality on the threshold of it and out of that encryption, we create our holographic selves, many of them. 